So in this video, I'm gonna show you three tips what you can use to become a top 1% man or a top 1% woman. And at the end of the video, I'm gonna explain to you why it is important to me to become the top 1%. So first of all, being in the top 1% doesn't necessarily mean that you are a billionaire or a celebrity. It also doesn't mean that other people are not worth it or bad or worse than you. So for me, it's about achieving excellence in my specific field, standing out from the crowd and reaching my full potential. This is exactly the explanation for me what I would consider being a top 1%. So let's get started with the first tip. Embrace an extraordinary mindset. You become what you think about. Once you build an extraordinary mind, you are thinking always, what can I do what most people won't do, right? Like we have to think like that. If we want to have an extraordinary life, you gotta be an extraordinary person. It's like that. So we just have to find ways, okay, how can we do something different than other people, than the majority of the people? And once I shifted that mindset, I will act accordingly. For example, today, Sunday morning at 5 a.m., the clock was raining, I was looking outside, completely raining. And I was like, oh, okay, should I go outside? Yeah, of course you should go outside because you want a different life than the majority of people. So that means you have to do different things to get there. So what I did is just grabbing my shoes and running for 45 minutes. And in between I did 200 burpees to level up even more. Okay, it doesn't mean that we all have to do that. We just have to think a little bit more different than other people and then we can act accordingly and whatever it means to you, what you want to do and what you want to make. And also significant, understand that failure is a part of success and a part of being able to show you what you can improve in order to make it to your dreams, to your freedom in life. Cultivate resilience, staying power and persistence and keep always pushing forward even when it's getting tough. The second tip what I have for you today, develop a strong and persisting work ethic. Success rarely comes without hard work. Even Cristiano Ronaldo once said, talent without working hard is nothing. Talent without working hard is nothing. That actually means we all are in a way gifted. But the really top 1% use their gifts, use their talents in order to put in the work to develop it into a strength. And that means we have to find ways how we can improve, how we can work harder than other people. Like there's also a saying, do not work hard, but clever. And I would say it should be a mix. Becoming successful and reaching the edge and becoming the top 1% is not easy. So you have to work harder relatively to life in order to attract it. So bear the mind, try to maximize productivity and minimize distractions and work hard with the full focus what you can have. The third tip what I have for you is continuous learning and improving. And probably the most important when it comes to the exponential function, where you always try to get 1% better than yesterday, for example. Then you're increasing yourself, you're developing and evolving your person, your personality, your character, everything what is included. And I can tell you, I'm kind of addicted to become a little bit more than I was yesterday. And you know, it's not about that I'm never satisfied or something. I'm very grateful every single day for my quantum leaps, what I do every single week. So I'm appreciating that all the time. But on the other side, I say I want more. I, I have the hunger for more. And I think that's, that's my way of living. I'm shooting for the next and next goal. And in the meantime, I'm grateful, I'm satisfied and appreciate everything what I have already. So for me, this is actually the, the best system to be happy on the one hand and to be goal-driven and motivated on the other hand. And I really would recommend it to go that path for you as well if you want to become the top 1%. So I really like to enhance myself and to evolve my qualities of myself and in every field, you know, in every field what I do every single day. Is it fitness or 
nutrition, maturity or accountability, money or finances, my business as a motivational speaker, being a gentleman for example also, <laughs> and also my attitude and so many other things. I just want to become everything what I do, everything what I work on, I want to do my best, I want to reach my full potential. That's also the reason why I have made my podcast Discover Your Potential because I really love the idea of reaching the edge of your own potential. I mean, imagine what you can reach in one year if you work on your personality, if you work on yourself, on your dreams every single day. Imagine where you are in one year. Isn't that an amazing thought? It's inspiring and thrilling to think what I will reach in the future if I just put in the work right now and to become the top 1%. And lastly, why it is important to me to become the top 1%? Because I like the thought of being different. It doesn't mean that you're completely insane than other people and the majority of people, but I know exactly, like after three years of developing myself and, and seeing the majority of people, there is a, is a certain pattern what most people have, how they behave and act. And then I have just looked at that people and they were not really successful. And I said, okay, maybe I have to do something different. So, and then I was looking for a lot of professional speakers like Brian Tracy, Tony Robbins, Jay Shetty, they were all thinking different. They were talking different, they were acting different. Successful people were meditating when other people were complaining. They're going to the gym when other people laying on the couch. They're uh, eating healthy, nutritious food when other people ordering for McDonald's. You know, they are actually different and disciplined. And that was what motivated me so hard. And you know, I was just like, yeah, maybe I should, I should do the same. So maybe I could have inspired you in that video to go to top 1%. So the three tips what we had today, embrace an extraordinary mindset, that's the number one, develop a strong and tireless and persisting work ethic. And number three, always improve, always try to learn and become more over. And do not stress yourself, make it an easy way, step by step. You don't need to rush. A turtle can tell you more about the way than a rabbit. A turtle can tell you more about the way than the rabbit. So enjoy your journey toward your dreams. Enjoy the journey toward becoming the top 1% man or woman. Okay? Do not rush. It's a marathon and not a sprint. So keep that in mind and always try to become more consistently.